Y'all, did we really need this one? If you guys are new here, my name is Ashley, and this is My Sweet Perspective, where I give my take on all things TV and movie related. I'm here to put y'all on. So if that's your speed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and, and join the community, okay? And find out what's coming on or what's on, okay? I am back today to talk about Feud, Capote versus the Swans, Episode 8, Phantasm Forgiveness, the finale, y'all. Uh, and y'all, so much happened in episode seven. I felt like I got the closure I needed. I don't know how much I really needed this episode. Directed by Gus Van Sant, though. Um, I mean, I'm not mad at it. But again, I just don't know if I needed it. But let's get right into the episode. Again, I'll cover what stood out to me, what I felt was important. I'm, I'm not going to keep y'all super long. But a phantasm, a product of fantasy, a delusive appearance, an illusion, a ghost, a specter, a figment of one's imagination. And that's what it was, honey, because none of this really happened in real life. OK, maybe this part did. So as the episode opens up, we see um, Truman going to Babe's gravesite, right, because he needs to go there and talk to her. We learned before in the eulogy that he'd written that was he was never able to actually give properly. Um, that he saw Babe in everything. Babe was everywhere and in everything. He goes there. He brings her favorite flowers. He pushes the carnations to the side because not his Babe, okay? Um, and he's just sharing, talking, you know, loving, loving the Babe that he knew. Um, and talking to his friend, which was kind of a kind of a beautiful moment. Um, but then you guys, we enter kind of this delusional dream sequence, I suppose, where um, it's kind of like an imagined. Um, reconciliation with all of the swans, right? And so, but it's through his book, um, Unanswered Prayers. Um, and again, through this book, he's going to make things right again in the world, right? And so we kind of go through these moments. CZ here, I believe is Kiki in the book and Truman is PB. Um, and they are just sharing. And in this moment, she's actually kind of reviling him for the work that he had done in Lakote, right? Um, and he said she says to him, it wasn't so much that you that you wrote it, right? It's that you lied um and you didn't even really make money off of it. It didn't save your finances at all. And you didn't tell the full truth. You know, you kind of painted this picture that I was just this, you know, reluctant wife, but you didn't really show who I was. You know what I mean? And I kind of felt that. I was like, you know, that's true. So they go on this voyage out south to help liberate and free her. Again, a part of their reconciliation. She brings her half-naked photo. Remember, Diego Rivera had painted her nude. Um, and she shares that. And, you know, Truman says, I I've gotten everything I've needed down here, honey, in the past. Um, he sees Lee. Uh, and there's kind of this imagined thing where she's out to dinner with Jackie Onassis uh, and she orders a drink and Jackie copies her. And I guess she feels like she couldn't have autonomy or she was always living in Jackie's shadow. She couldn't have anything. Uh, and so Truman, you know, kind of just or PB rather, um, you know, co-signs it. He then meets Slim. Slim beats him up in the middle of the street, pops him a couple times, and then they go back to her home as she's moving, and they break a bunch of dishes, and that's how they make up. You know what I mean? Um, and so now we're back into reality, out of the dream, and he's like, I need to finish unanswered prayers. He goes over and sees Jack, and Jack has a new young boo who is enamored of Truman and wants to hear all of the stories, and Truman says, you know, um, I'm sober now and I'm going to finish this book. It's going to be my apology, right? But meanwhile, Lily May and Ann Woodard are both visiting him. We know that they both, lo both lost their lives um, to self-inflicted unaliving, right? Uh, and so they're they're talking to Truman throughout this. And Anne is appealing to him and saying, this isn't going to make it any better. You're going to open up old wounds you know, and Lily, Lily May is saying, write about me, son, <laughs> write about me. And so in that, we flash back to Truman's childhood, which again, I guess gives us more insight as to why he was the way that he was, but I don't know how beneficial it was, right, to the story. We had kind of deduced that, right, from the early appearances of Lily May, played by Jessica Lang earlier in the series. And we got it. She she was an overbearing, 
um, not even so much overbearing, but kind of neglectful, um, narcissistic mom. Like that's just who she was. I don't know if we needed to see little Truman being berated um, for his effeminence or, you know, see him, you know, vying for his mother's attention while she's trying to procure another suitor to fund her lifestyle. I don't know how beneficial it was. Again, this whole episode, I didn't know necessarily if it really served a point for me. Um, of course, after that, he gets the manuscript, he's written it. He p- walks past the lake. He sees the swans, of course, you know, reminiscent to what we'd seen before and visits him again. Um, and is basically like, you need to burn it again. It's not going to do any good. Um, and then they kind of talk about how, you know, he always told her she reminded him of his mother and the mother has claimed to be the black swan. And he said, you know, I don't want to write about you, mother. I don't want to write about that. Um, And Anne, could you ever forgive me? And Anne said, no, I could never forgive you for that. Never. Um, And so I think in in this moment, we kind of see Truman, both in his mother and in Anne, um, all kind of at the end of their rope, um, metaphorically, of course. And it's it's kind of sad, um, but all very broken, all broken in different ways but broken nonetheless. Um, And the fact that these are the two that he's communing with during this time, super interesting. So Truman at this point has gone out to Bel Air to Joanne Carson's place. um, And we kind of get to see the before moments after he passed, before he passes. Um, And again, we think he's writing a manuscript by the pool. He almost drowns. Um, Later find out Joanne said there was nothing on those pages, you know, just jibber jabber gibberish um and there's a quote somebody drop it in the comments below i can't remember it right now but he was he did write something specific over and over and specific over and over and over again and so of course we see him pass again um joanne calls jack uh, and is like did he have a manuscript she was like no and that's when she tells him about the notebooks we also again got to see him and babe on the beach and his last words uttered beautiful babe um You know, and maybe this is, oh no, that's not the end. The end is, sorry, let's keep going, his ashes. So Kate Harrington, his unofficial stepdaughter, um, is going to an auction because Joanne had kept his ashes, right? Jack didn't want them. Uh, And so now we are, I don't know if it's Sotheby's or what auction house we're at, um, but his um, ashes are up for auction and she wants to bid. And apparently her husband is like, okay, we, you know, we have the money. We can go up to this certain amount and they're bidding. Uh, and initially I thought they were going to get him. I thought that had been poetic, but they were outbid alas. And you could tell it hurt her um, because I think she really loved Truman. And I think re- Truman really loved her. I think they had a genuine um, kind of father daughter relationship. Again, <sighs> All of the episodes are, I guess, 90% of them have been super well done for me um, and told a a decent story. Um, We also get to see a final act of the swans as they walk out of the auction house and they're going to try to find someplace in New York to lunch. um, And they're all walking out together in the sunshine. And, you know, Babe kind of lingers um, on. Um, I do think it was interesting that we didn't see him with the swans after, right? Um, it, but they seem to all be together. Uh, you know, it, it's it's interesting. But you guys drop it in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Did we need this episode? Um, or was it kind of just a throw in? I'd love to know your thoughts. And if you haven't already, y'all, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Um, and come hang out with me, you guys. But anyway, that's what I got for you today. And I will see y'all in the next video.